while three very powerful contenders battling it out together to get to the second pole place position in crypto we have a number of contenders that are coming and nibbling on their ankles while they are waiting and competing with each other anyways whatever on the, the voice i'm here just having a whole lot of fun with you my beautiful crypto community welcome back to the crypto bliss community here today so grateful to be here with you once again on the channel as you can see we're up 3.2 percent on the market cap today that means about nine nearly a hundred billion dollars came into this market here today if you are not part of this you are not making money with us all right make sure you stay tuned right to the very end because this video is going to be so cool you're not even want to gonna miss a minute three trillion just over three trillion we've had crazy amounts of money pumped into here since i did my live show we've had 25 billion dollars come into the space and it ain't stopping the train has left the station bitcoin in the last seven days is up 27 percent skyrocketing here 8.4 percent just today my friends we've hit a massive massive all-time high in discovery we've hit 86,000. uh i think we were at 80 yeah we are at 88,000 actually so that was pretty darn juicy all right so ethereum as you can see is up 36 percent and now solana coming in hot we are officially about one third just under one third um of the way to ethereum's market cap on solana could solana surpass ethereum i would not be surprised okay but in order for solana to catch up to ethereum ethereum is going to probably end up at like where bitcoin's market cap is here and if you missed that out you need to go watch my live video that i just did this evening for you this video is all about solana and bnb because bnb has remained in position number four for as long as we can remember we can recall and now solana has surpassed bmb and i'm just going to show you a few very simple things just between the two there's a lot of stuff um solana is almost a decentralized exchange but the network keeps failing bnb is one of the most mega exchanges thousands of cryptos mega worth value on this crypto exchange so many cool projects get launched on there. So many cool airdrops and things happening. These two are great ecosystems. And hence why we have a Bitcoin ecosystem and Ethereum ecosystem. If you guys know about crypto, then you'll know about the ecosystems that are behind them. I'm not going to go into that on this video, but I will do that in another video soon for you. Solana is its own ecosystem. BNB is its own ecosystem. Cardano is its own ecosystem. Tron is its own ecosystem. AVAX is its own Chainlink is its own, Sui is its own, and Aptos is its own, Mirror is its own, and these are all coming and nibble on the top 10 position here. We are going to have some of the most crazy coins come into the space. So let's get going. Here you can see is the top blockchains by total value locked. There is a 105 billion total value locked, 20, 75% increase in the last 24 hours. Ethereum's dominance is about 58%. Solana is about seven in second position with 7.4%. Then Tron with 6.3%. Then BNB is kind of like almost up. It's about two, two and a half percent away from there. And BNB, interestingly so, is ahead of Bitcoin. But those who know Bitcoin will know that Bitcoin should at some point come up to the second position here and dominate the rest of these in the cycle. Solana and BNB probably sitting underneath. Sui Avalanche, De Aptos, Nier, uh, definitely somewhere close up there too. Uh, make sure to go and check out this other video that I've released for you on the channel up here. And uh, yeah, let's go and see. So if Solana had to hit Ethereum's current market cap at this point, we would see Solana at a more or less a $847 market cap. Now, what happens if we were to see BNB? If we had to see BNB do the same thing, we'd see BNB sitting at $2,746. Now, one BNB is $636. One Solana is about $218. Well, that's because of the metrics of the coin and the tokenomics. So we're not going to go too much into that. Now, 
I don't know. Could these ecosystems at some point in the near future hit into the trillions? They possibly could, but there's nothing real, really else to just kind of pin it to other than a Bitcoin. And so if this had to hit a $1.7 billion market cap, a trillion dollar market cap where Bitcoin is today, it's another 18x. That takes BNB right up to like 11,700. So it's an 18x on your money. Solana, if it was to do the same, it would be about a 16.59x. And that's because Solana has done some crazy pumps over the cycle this year. So really, what kind of gains could we make? If we have to look at Ethereum, Ethereum would be sitting at about a $14,000 price. Not bad, right? Pretty decent if we were to look at these options for you and myself to make returns. So your returns could be anything between four and 18 and a half X essentially. Now I'm not saying BNB is gonna do this, my friends, cheers to you, but what's stopping it from going there? There isn't anything stopping it from going there. Now I'm gonna show you a few metrics that are gonna help you understand that that's the reason why, you understand. First of all, I hope you are subscribed to my Twitter page. I've been pumping stuff out here for you guys. And as you can see here, just very simple, simple. the post that I shared here, um, actually, this is one of them, so shout out to Mags. We are literally here getting ready to make the vertical pump here into the 2025 uh, cryptocurrency altcoin market bull cycle. This chart is saying kind of 3.8 trillion. I think it's understating this market cap. I think we're gonna have a massive pump and I'll show you on the charts in a short moment. Make sure to stay tuned with me because there has been some changes in this ecosystem. Now, where's all this liquidity coming from? Well, Ethereum has lost a number of its outflows, which have gone mostly to SUI. Uh, 39% has gone to, over to SUI and about 38% of it over to Solana. And then of course, the next one being Binance Smart Chain, which is only 3%. So imagine if Binance does some super turnaround and does a massive, massive um, rally and starts to accumulate some of the wormhole bridge outflows that Ethereum is having because Binance Smart Chain, let's be real, Binance, <coughs> Solana, Arbitrum, Moonbeam, Base, Clayton, Phantom, Optimum, Polygon, uh, Sui, Say, Avalanche, all of these are ridiculously cheaper to use than Ethereum. Ethereum hasn't solved that problem yet. So unfortunately, Ethereum might be the base layer, but honestly, look at the competitors and the gains that you're gonna make out of the competitors versus Ethereum. I'm not saying Ethereum is not gonna do well, but you can see Ethereum is gonna do like a four, five X, realistically speaking, okay, over the course of the cycle. But truthfully, Sui is the, 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 the king here. It's winning the race, okay? the tortoise actually that came out of nowhere and poof, wins uh ton being second and look at this ironically bnb change has had uh sorry bnb has had a much higher gain well not much higher it's about 11 percent gain more than what we have seen on uh on bitcoin uh sorry on solana okay sorry bnb is 98 percent gain Solana is only 81% gain. So BNB has made a much stronger gain over the course of this year. So I'm gonna let you decide which one is the better to use at this point and why is that? Because the data I'm giving to you are saying that pretty much right now, neck and neck Solana and BNB are the two and they pretty much cost us around the same to use. Tron uh is behind bitcoin even and ethereum is way down there okay so look at where near aptos cardano all of the rest of these have um space to grow but if they are not growing and they're not doing the marketing how do they expect to gain any of the market share that's the question you have to ask yourself so what essentially are the two best well solana for the most transactions in year 2024 absolutely obliterates binance smart chain more than 10 billion, whereas Binance is only 1.17. So Binance has a long way to catch up there and that has been beaten by some of these other competitors. So my friend, the choice is yours to decide which one you wanna use. I'm gonna say right now, 
There's a reason for Solana being number four in the spot and overtaking Binance. Although I love Binance, I use Binance, uh, I own some Binance, I work with Binance in uh, uh, some of my pancake swap trading, etc. So, you know, Binance isn't a bad coin. It's not what I'm saying. The year to date returns, as you can see here, are being trumped, literally trumped. Ton has done one of the best, as you can see, Ton repeatedly has done the best. BNB, then Shiba, then Bitcoin, then Solana. So some of these coins, and you can see that the data isn't tracking well, but this is the latest post you can see here from the 10th um, of 2024 that these are the latest, as you can see here, the latest moves that are busy currently happening. So it's first Sui, then Ton with the amount of um, uh, change on uh, growth this year, then Ton, then BNB, then Solana, Okay, so BNB has outgrown Solana even. It's done better than Solana. But the most important thing that you need to know, and this is key right here, right now. First of all, let's take ourselves from the first, and I just want to give you just a very, very shallow, simple example. Because right now we're estimated at about this level, and this pump here on the total crypto market cap was 11,300%, my friend. That's fucking mad. That is mad, absolutely mad. Now, I want to show you that this candle right here, my friend, is the exact same candle we had right here. If you believe that, you can see that, give the video a thumbs up, please. That would be much appreciated. So I'm going to do you a favor, me a favor, take it right from the bottom of that candle and right to the top of this bull cycle. It gives us a 2,100, in fact, I didn't even get the bottom properly of that. So let's move this up a little bit so I get it right there. Okay. That's a 2,500, 2,600% gain in a few months over the total market cap. 2,600% gain is a fucking 26x on your money. Okay. If you just hold all kinds of crypto, Bitcoin and Ethereum being the most biggest in your portfolio. If we were to do anything like that, my friend, and I'm just going to say right there from the bottom of that, that candle. Now, I've been saying that the total crypto market cap would undoubtedly and potentially hit between a 12, which is the 4.618, and a $20 trillion market cap. Here's my halfway point at the $15 trillion market cap. So at that point, that is only a 7.7x. So I'll, that's why I'm saying if diminishing returns, which I just don't believe will happen in the cycle because there is so much more money, there is so much more inflows of capital into this market. I believe we are going to see some of the craziest gains we have ever seen in this crypto space. So why would coins like Solana and BNB and all the rest of these coins, Sui, Say, uh, all the ones that I've shared on my channel, not pump, my friend. Well, they would. And that's why, even though I've shared posts <clears throat> to say that we could potentially get to a $10 trillion market cap, that would look great. But really and truthfully and honestly, my friends, if we were to do even a 1,500x as a diminishing return potential, look at where this takes us to. This takes us to a $27 trillion market cap. I don't know if that's possible, but that's a 15x in this market cap. 15x are you ready for the gains we are about to see in this cycle my friends i don't know if you are and just some simple for you we'll do this we'll do this look at that look at how i just try to reach up to the 4.6 on 8. so even if we only get up to there that's still like a 7, 8x on this market cap. And I have so much more proof. If you've been watch, watching my videos, my live sessions, go check them out. These are telling us how much further we have to go. Thanks for being here, my beautiful friends. So very simple. The difference between Solana and BNB is not much. The transaction value, the market cap, yes, the usability, so many more meme coin launches on Solana than BNB, but really all in all, Solana's outpacing it at the moment. But my friends with 24 hour volume as well, 
there's a lot of things pointing towards Solana and that's why Solana currently is in fourth position. And I'm just being really real. I love both of them. I own some of both of them. I own and trade with both of them. So these ones up here are just incredible for those exact purposes and so much more. So thanks for being here with me on the Crypto Bliss channel. Truly appreciate you, my friend. We'll see you on the next one. Take care and have yourself a lovely day ahead. You let me know down in the comments below what is your best one and which one do you prefer and why? Please, that would be absolutely amazing. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for being here.